Uh, yeah, g'day. Now, I'd like to have a word or two with you about the Socratic paradox, which, without being too technical about it, is a paradox worked out by the late Socrates in order to explain some of the pitfalls involved in explaining things. Now, the argument says, in essence, that you can't learn things you don't already know. And given the widely accepted view that there is some difficulty to be encountered in trying to learn something you do already know, well, I'm afraid it's beginning to look as if the whole business of learning is largely overrated and should probably be left alone. Now, I personally have always held this to be more or less self-evident, although my reasoning, unfortunately, turns out to be a little less platonic than I had hoped. Socrates argued that if you don't know something, you probably wouldn't recognise the knowledge if it popped up in your porridge, and that if you did recognise it, then in some sense you must already have had the knowledge beforehand, and that therefore learning is merely a process whereby we recollect knowledge which is already in us. Now this, of course, touches on the Fred Dagg theory of the human memory, and even though Socrates doesn't, so far as I know, have any real right of reply in the matter anymore, there are just one or two points I would like to clear up. Firstly, if the knowledge is in there anyway, at what stage was it put there, and whose job is it to go around feeding knowledge in through people's ears before the memory takes over and renders the whole thing academic? As a matter of fact, I once knew a bloke who thought we were all born with a certain number of words in us, and when we talked them out, we died, which impressed me as being fundamentally sound until I found out that he thought Portia Face's life was the story of a woman named Portia Face. Now, this knowledge represented the recollection of something I don't think Socrates has made enough allowance for, and that is that lack of knowledge or knowledge of things that aren't quite right, can be recalled just as easily, and of course in some cases more easily, than good, solid, everyday stuff like coming in out of the rain. It's also, of course, possible to forget things and then forget that you've forgotten them. And then if you can recall the fact that you've forgotten something, does this necessarily qualify as knowledge? As a matter of fact, I'll try and get back to you on this one. I'm a little bit confused at the moment. It's nearly time for me tablet.